Geminis. Hello, Geminis. Welcome to anyone who's new. Welcome to Deep Soul Tarot. My name is Kelly. Welcome back to anyone who's returning and for my tribe. What's up? What's up, my beautiful tribe? Let me just give a big, huge, 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 huge thank you to all of you for all your support and for all of you who have subscribed. Um, the, the growth that I've had in the past six days, this past week has been freaking amazing and I couldn't be happier. I'm beside myself. And that is thanks to all of you. So I want to thank you so, so very much because I wanted to get to 500 subscribers. I'm approaching, going towards 600. I'm not, I'm not that close, but I'm going towards that. And at the end of the month, I wanted to, I wanted 500. And I just didn't think I would even get to that point. And I've surpassed that and it's not even the end of June yet. So moving forward, moving on up, moving forward. But that's all thanks to you. Yes, I do the videos. I put a lot of work into this, but at the end of the day, though, your support is what makes this channel successful. So uh, I so, so appreciate and thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you all. And I'm so excited because, yes, as you all know, I'll shuffle while I'm rambling on here. Everybody who is on YouTube, of course, wants to get to. That's a big achievement because of the requirements. So when you get to 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers, that's a big thing here. So that's a personal you know, achievement goal. Just, it's just sort of a milestone. And yes, you can finally monetize if you're not familiar. That's when you can monetize your channel, which would be very helpful to me because I could use the money and I need money to invest into the channel. So from uh, when I can monetize and from any donations that come through from my channel is going to go basically back into the channel. Buying new decks, buying Oracle decks, and definitely I do not have a laptop, so I'm trying to save for a laptop. So I have just used, yes, we got stimulus checks, but I use that to pay off credit card debt and doing pretty good on that. And so I'm trying to get it together, but this is something I want to continue doing. But what I'm excited about is I do this on my phone since I don't have a laptop, and which is fine. It works out fine. But you're kind of limited on your phone as far as space and things you can do. So when I get to 1,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel, you have access to community, story time. I can do live streams, which I'm dying to do. I wanted to do that in March. I couldn't. I found out because I, I do this on my phone. Didn't have, wasn't even anywhere near 1,000 subscribers at that point. So I'm excited. So I love, love, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And if, if you if you want to subscribe, if you're not subscribed and want to help me out, I appreciate that. I would love to have you as part of the tribe. I do regular readings. I'll be doing more um, as time moves forward because I'll have access to do more things, like a lot of live streams and stuff. Um, maybe some live, you know, live collective reads, and then I'll do some private readings in that, and blah, 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 all kinds of good stuff. I'm looking forward to that. So if you want to be a part of that, do join the tribe. So hit that subscribe button. And give me a thumbs up if you like these readings. If it resonates or you like these kind of readings, appreciate the thumbs up. That also helps the channel. It gets my video out there. It gets more people watching the content. So, I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. And very, very, very soon I'm going to be going live on Instagram. Um, so, I'm getting prepared to do that. So, if you want to join me there, so I can do it on YouTube. And I don't know how to share it on YouTube. I'm going to see if I can try to save it and share it to YouTube. We'll see. I, I know there's a way to do it, but I don't know if you can do it on a phone. Okay. I have an Android phone. All right, Gemini, that's enough yammering on. This is a general read, so it may not resonate for all of you, so do keep that in mind. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Do check your other placements in your chart, because sometimes those can resonate more. This reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, Mars, and Saturn, if I haven't said that already, because this is a general collective read. Um, and I'm going to shuffle one more time. We're going to cut the deck. Time is an illusion and energy is fluid, so some of this may have already happened to you. Some of this may be happening as you're actually watching the video. Some of this is happening right now. Presently in your life, maybe none of this has happened yet. These will be uploaded. When you see this, you'll see that it's uploaded before July. So, um, I'm sorry, I said one more. I lied. One more video. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. Um, so, this may happen in July, but even if you watch this past July 2020, these are energies for July 2020 and moving forward. So, just keep that in mind. Because, so, if this isn't happening in your life, it could very well happen in July or moving forward. Okay? So, we're going to take one card from the bottom of the deck for right now. Get some general energy overall. And then we'll shuffle cards and then take another one from the bottom of the deck. Eight of Swords. Okay. Well, go figure. So, go figure. Jam and I being caught in their mind. <laughs> My roommate's a Gemini. I adore her. I absolutely adore her. I couldn't have been happier. Because my other roommate had left, and I got along with her, and then I was like, oh, crap, someone's going to be moving in, and who's it going to be? We share a room. It's California. It's very expensive to live here. I live in a very, um, it's kind of a communal type. This is not a permanent place to live. Um, anyways, I'm not going to get into that story. Someday I'll tell my story, but uh, but she's a Gemini. And I admit the minute, I mean, I love you, Geminis. 
there is just something about you, Geminis. I'm sorry. Not to offend any other signs, but Geminis to me, you know, I'm sorry. But she, she's beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. And um, she's an overthinker, too. So am I. I'm not, I'm not an air sign, but she's an overthinker. And I know my twin, I've been a twin flame journey four years, Gemini. He's an overthinker. Every Gemini I know, overthinker. You're caught in your head about something. You're caught in your own mental prison right now, Gemini. But you know what? Let's see. Let's see what else is going on here. Let's see if we can work through this. Or maybe you're going through something. Something maybe going on in your life that you need to work through. See if we can get you to work through it. And then, so, so you may just, well, the wind's freaking me out here. Uh, you may just be um, trying to work it out through in your head, but you're caught up there. Overthink, overthink. You know, sometimes when things happen in your life, uh, and I, again, I'm one of them, so I understand. Mm -hmm. Spending some time alone. Need to spend some time alone. Oh, wait a minute. There's another card. There's another card that flipped. Five of swords. Okay. Gemini. Swords are air signs. You know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if you don't know. These two ones come out. Um, anything else for Spirit? For our Geminis, please? For July? Oh, there's that one. One more. Spirit says, one more shuffle. And uh, Spirit says, that's it. So that's why I wanted to come out. Okay. Okay. You got some face downs and face ups. So the way I look at face up cards and face down, basically, is this what's on the surface here for you, Gemini? And this may very well would be underlying the situation or maybe something that's within you, dormant, and we can work through stuff that you need to work out, work through, maybe, and um, not wanting to or not. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Now you have the Queen of Pentacles right off the bat, Gemini. Then you, and underneath there, you have the Seven of Cups. Having wow, and you have the Two of Wands. We're going to work through this, okay? Queen of Pentacles. You need to be patient with yourself. The Queen of... You look at the Queen of Pentacles. She's just... She knows what she wants. And she goes within, and she's very patient, very calm, very grounded, and makes a decision. She knows what she wants, and she's willing to wait for it. I am not going to push forward and make any wrong moves. I'm not going to run and trip over my own feet and screw up my future. I am going to Queen of Pentacles feminine energy. I'll get to that in a minute because there's a king under here, which is masculine energy. So the Queen of Pentacles is very patient. Okay, so you may have to be patient with yourself and or the situation because you have some sort of decision to make. Now, cups is about emotion and can be about love, but it doesn't have to be. This could be something that is emotionally challenging for you or creating some emotional bringing up some emotions that you're not comfortable with so you have to ch make a choice planning your future making a choice underneath that masculine energy jesus we can go forever on the bottom of the deck here gemini king of swords i believe this is the libra card trying to balance something out making wise decisions trying to be uh, logical about the situation but with the king of swords sometimes and he's very diplomatic the king of swords is very diplomatic but sometimes he focuses too much on being logical and not really going with what's going on in the heart and it's causing you well there you are look at that gemini there you are there's your card somewhere underneath all these cats and you are having some sleepless nights and anxiety so gemini we need to see what's going on here so we can help you work through this okay you got a lot going on here now as far as the masculine and feminine energies like see Headspace. She thinks about stuff, but she, she does follow what her heart wants, and she's willing to wait. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. We usually resonate with one more than the other. Okay? Just pointing this out. I say this in every reading, but just in case someone's new and doesn't know. Um, it does not matter your gender. So if I... This is not gender specific. You could be male and resonate more with feminine energy and vice versa. Female with masculine. So when I refer to the cards, the king of swords, kings are masculine energy. They're more uh, external, logical type of dealing with things and the feminine energy is more internal intuitional emotional and that's all it has to do is with energy okay gemini so you're caught in your head but you need to calm down a little bit get yourself out of your head really be patient with yourself in the situation okay first the hermit came out virgo card virgos and earth, earth energy vermin vermin <laughs> they're not vermin I was trying to say Vermit, actually, Hermit and, and Virgo at the same time. The Hermit card. Spending some time alone and thinking. You may be spending a lot of time, though, alone, and, and that's when you do a lot of your thinking. Overthinking. So, this is going to be... You know, this, to me, I'm hearing is a long... You've come a long way, and this is a, a, a place in your life... Where whatever it is that you're working through or trying to get through or something that's happening in your life is just... 
You're you're not getting the five of swords. It's a challenge for you. This is about there's some sort of change in your life, change and challenge that you're just cutting your head and it's giving you a damn headache. You can't stop thinking about it. And you you can't you um you know, here's the little bird talking in your ear. It's like, you know, Gemini, you're the twins. One twin is saying, well, everything's going to be okay. And then the other twin, this is your overthinking. I know, but what about A, B, C, and D? What about that? What about A? And then if A happens, what about B? What about C? And the other side's saying, I know, but you can do this. And the, I know, but there's still D. What am I going to do about D? I don't know about this. And you just, it keeps going and keep going. And you can't sleep. That nine of swords is about sleep. You just want to be independent and free independent of whatever it is you want to feel happy with the way things are i'm almost hearing you want to oh what did i do to my cat uh i bet my cat i'm really destroying my cards here see i need to make some, i need to monetize my channel so i can buy some new cards another one i found on the floor it was underneath i have ice down there and it's in a container but it, it kind of warped my card a little bit i need to get some new cards gemini we got to get this monetized so I can, you know, make a little bit of money per month. It's not a huge amount, believe me. But a little bit here and there. Let's put that aside and save it for the channel. I can buy me some new decks, Oracle and Tarot, and I can get myself a laptop. And then I can really do some good stuff. Maybe I can get it even before the 1,000 subscribers. We'll see. Uh, depending on how things go. I am also available for private readings for anyone who might be interested in that, too. The, all the information's down below. You just have to email me to let me know, and then we can talk about it in email. But, um... So it is um, Deep Soul Tarot 8, all together, Deep Soul Tarot 8, all lowercase in case that matters. Deep Soul Tarot 8 at gmail.com, but that is in the description box. Anyways, uh, just as a side note, Nine of Cups. You, yeah, you just want to be free. You want to be happy. You want to be free like you used to be. I'm not sure what that means. Am I not? All right, then we have these two cups. The two cups, then we have these three. So we're going to start with these two. Underlying. This may be what's deep down inside of you. Maybe this is what's kind of going on on the inside. But, oh, yo, yo, boy, Gemini. All right, Gemini, what, something's going on in your life. And, I mean, you've got the Queen of Swords, again, air sign, but feminine energy. But feminine energy, this, I'm sorry, I'm just going to say it. Um, I think this is the Aquarius card. I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure, though. Queen of Swords, again, air energy, Gemini, Aquarius, or, or Libra, could be any three of you. She's what I call the ice queen. And there's something that you just want to cut out of your life, or you need to cut out of your life. And you don't have to stop thinking about it. Stop thinking about it and just do it. Just do it. And she is just like, I don't give a rat's ass. I'm cutting this out. This is not serving me. Whatever's going on in your life, there's something not right in your world right now, Gemini. And it needs to end. This is a Scorpio card, in case you're dealing with the Scorpio. So you have a Virgo card and a Scorpio card so far. Uh, both Queens, Pentacles, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And you have the Hermit. So you could be dealing, if you're dealing with somebody, could be very well be a Virgo. Um, swords, again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then, of course, the Death card specifically is Scorpio. Um, something needs to end so you can be reborn and you can feel this way again. You know, I know you're free spirits and you like to be happy. And when things, my roommate, I can tell. I can tell on her face when she's something she's thinking, like last night. Um, you know, I leave it up to her if she wants to talk about it or not. You know, I don't want to pry because she always feels like she's burdening me with her problems. And I'm like, no, you know, we're, we become friends. I mean, in the short, I've only known her a couple weeks. She just moved in not that long ago. And, you know, and she's, it's, people have screwed her over so badly that she has a hard time trusting that anyone would like her or whatever. And I just, I love her. She's a sweetheart. Anyway, so I tell her, you know, tell me, let me, I told her, I have an empty trash bag here. You give it to me and I'll throw it in the trash. <laughs> but, you know, when you're weighed down by something, Gemini's, I mean, seriously, when you're weighed down by something, it's hard for you because you're such free spirits and you're usually happy-go-lucky, but there are those times when something is kind of, well, if they drag you down or you're worried about something and you just can't get it out of your head, it's hard. It's hard to move forward. All right, so you need to, there's a new beginning. That Queen of Swords, you need to cut something out. You need to figure this out, what would be good, true to you. You know, it's like, you, you feel like your life is spiraling out of control. And you're trying to figure something out. Trying to figure out the best. Now you got the Two of Swords. Feel like you're being pulled in two directions. And you know what I'm hearing here? Oh, my goodness. I don't know if this is a love situation. Could be, but it doesn't have to be. These are general reads. These are not love reads. But 
your love. If you're not subscribed, hit that bell icon button. Subscribe because the love readings will be coming soon. And I do those. Uh, I don't do those in order. I do those by by views and uh, comments and likes because I, that's those are the people I feel that are most interested in the love reads. So the highest to the lowest. So and it it fluctuates every time I do them. I do these every two weeks. So. Um, so if you're interested in, in, in love information, then you can check those out too. But the Two of Swords, you're being pulled in two different directions. I think what you want in your heart and what you're thinking is the right thing to do, and you can't, you, you don't know. You just don't know. You're having a hard time making some sort of decision. I'm going to have to clarify. And you got the Six of Cups. Now, first off, Six of Cups, just as a side note, can be about a twin flame connection. I'm just going to point that out because this is about your past. So the Six of Cups is about reminiscing. It could be about your childhood. It could be about your youth. It could have. It could relate to anything: family, friends, just memories. But it can be a reconciliation with someone in your past. Cups is about emotion, something that made you emotionally happy. You're thinking about, and this could be maybe your twin. Maybe you've, you're not with your twin, and you're with someone else—a karmic thing, or maybe you're moving in a different direction. I don't know, but the Six of Cups is about the past. So there's something in the past that made you happy. And you don't you don't have that right now. There's something going on in your life that is sort of taken over or taken that away. And we will see what that is. Okay? We're going to we're going to clarify these cats here. I may have to clarify all of them because, you know, um, depending on how it comes out in the reading, sometimes it's straightforward. Sometimes there's a couple cards that aren't, you know, but this one, Gemini, of course, it's Gemini's, it's Gemini's, you know, you have twins, so you got to figure both sides out, right? And <laughs> just stays in Gemini's. All right, the Hermit, so you're spending some time alone. All right, what, what is the energy of the Hermit card, please, Spirit? What can you tell me about the Hermit card? I mean, I guess I could tie in the Five of Swords here, too, with that. But for right now, what is it that, that Gemini is either uh, alone thinking about or maybe needs to think about? Take some time alone, away from, from everything, and think. Spirit doesn't want it to come out here. Maybe Spirit's not sure. Oh, we'll take this one. These are like a whole lot of cards. I'm not going to take these, but I will take these. There's two cards here. All right, so Gemini, you need to take some sort of leap of faith. There's the King of Swords again. Now, I showed you that. That was in the bottom of the deck underneath the Queen here and all the other cards, all the other cards. The Queen, the King of Swords, um, so that, in my opinion, the King of, has come out twice. When a card comes out twice in a reading, different decks, of course, those are the main energies to focus on, okay, besides the overall energy. So you're caught in your head. You're on your own mental prison. You can get yourself out of that, though. You just need to kind of clear out the cobwebs and clear out the clutter in the head and then you can come to some sort of diplomatic you can come to the decision but there's something in your life you're going to have to take a chance on take a leap of faith that you're going to have to think about you know it may not seem like the the most logical thing to do right now but it's it's what you need to do two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck again indecision in, unbalanced indecision look it's like this is this is almost like you with your heart and it's your head saying, your heart saying, this is what I, this is what I really want, but this is this what I really should do? Should I do this or should I do what my heart wants? What my, uh, my feel inside? Five of Swords. What is Gemini thinking so much about? Too many cards. Sorry. I don't mind a few, but when you got like 10, 15 cards, that's half the deck. Well, not half the deck, but a good chunk of it. Oh, for God's sake, Gemini. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of cats here. I'm gonna take them. Yeah, I'll take them. There's that seven of cups again that was underneath there too. Making you're having okay, you're just having an extreme amount, uh, extreme hard time trying to make a decision. Let's get through these and see. There's your eight of swords again. There's it's there again. You are caught in your head trying to make some sort of decision, and you need to take control of your life. This is the Aries card, the Emperor card. Um, you have to take control of your life. And maybe you feel like your life is out of control and you have to take control of this. And it's going to take baby steps. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow energy. Slow and steady wins the race. Toxic energy, toxic thoughts. You're tearing yourself up here. There's the Magician again. 
I think the magician was under there. Um, oh, holy crap, you have a lot of repeat cards here. The magician. First, I'm hearing you're being illusioned by something. And I'm also hearing that you can manifest. You can manifest what you want. You have to take control of your life, though. You have to take control of the situation. You know? Maybe other people are trying to tell you what to do. Oh, my God. Look at this. You have two queens here. And you have the queen of swords twice. You, I mean, look at that. You have to cut something out. What was the second card? Oh, the five of swords. So there has to be some sort of change where you have to, to cut something out here, Gemini. And you need to cut it out without even thinking about it. Don't even think. Just do it. Step into your power. Two queen of wands. Now, this is, I said the six of cups is... For the Gemini card is a twin flame card, and so is the oh, so is the six of cups. This is the divine masculine. If you are on a twin flame journey, you may be thinking about your divine masculine, and you have the king of swords under there and the queen of swords. That's the divine counter. It's compound parts too. There's the world. This is the end of a cycle. This is a big, huge, freaking stack of cards. All right, we're gonna step over. Well, where are we? Twenty minutes. Um, yeah, let's do the nine of cups. We're going to do the Nine of Cups. Just because of the Nine of Cups, and now you have the Six of Cups. That's, the, that's from the Nine to the Three, from the Nine to the Six is Three of Cups. So there's some imbalance between what your head's saying and what your heart's saying. Because the Three of Cups to me is the mind, body, and spirit, or the soul. And you need to do what's good for your soul. So you can make a logical decision, but you really have to follow your, your truth here, your Ace of Swords. Figure out what the truth is for you and make that decision. Nine of Cups, please, Spirit. All right, what do we have here? Ace Pentacles. You, you, want a, you want a new beginning. You want a new beginning, but you want something that's going to have stability. You really do. Even though you're a free spirit, you want to make sure that that decision you make is not going to bring you, well, heartache, for sure. And here you are, Seven of Pentacles, trying to make that decision. I don't really want, know if I want to go in this direction. Is it going to be, is it, am I going to reap any, any of the benefits from going in this direction? Queen of Swords. What does Gemini need to cut out. I mean, you have the Queen of Swords twice. Queen of Swords. Mm, this one. Queen of Cups. You need to cut out that overthinking and think about what your heart wants. I know the Queen of Swords is the Ice Queen. But if something's not emotionally fulfilling you, you have to let that go. Ten of Cups. You want the Ten of Cups. And you're not getting it with something here. You're not getting it with whatever situation you're in. You're not getting any type of... You want a new beginning. You need to have some self-love. Fill your own cup. But you're... Okay, let me... let me As I'm shuffling, death and rebirth. Um, I mean, as I'm talking about this, I'll shuffle. Death and rebirth. Oh, that card wanted to come out. Um, you're not getting it with whatever situation you're in right now. That's something that's not emotionally fulfilling you. The Knight of Swords. This is kind of impulsive energy. Going forward, you're on a mission to. Oh, there's the King of Cups. So you have both the. So you have the King. The King of Swords and the Queen of Swords is here twice. King of Swords. You have. And I just saw the King of Wands, but I didn't pull the King of Wands out. But you have the Queen of Wands, which is the Divine Feminine. You had Gemini card, Twin Flame. Six of Cups, Twin Flame. Queen of Wands. I mean, Queen of, yeah, Queen of Wands is the Divine Feminine. And here you have the King and Queen of Cups. There's somebody else that you're thinking about who is your person. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not taking this out, but you're lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself about this situation. I'm going to move these over here just very briefly so I can, so you can see it a little bit better. And then I will put them back because I need those for the Oracle cards. The Ace of Swords. What can you tell me? Otherwise, I'll probably knock them down with my elbow. Ace of Swords, please, for Gemini. You want to be independent. You want to be an independent thinker. You want to be figure this out and be independent. You are in some sort of situation you are not happy with, and you do not want to be there anymore. You, there's the Ten of Pentacles. This is what you really want. So you want to be independent to go after what it is you really want, the abundance, the happiness. You don't feel like this is... Whatever the situation is, you do not feel like it's a stable situation. Now you got the Eight of Pentacles, and you're trying to figure out. You've been trying to figure this out for a while, working on this. Seven of Wands. 
All right, the Two of Swords, Seven of Wands. You feel like you have to be defensive because you don't know which, you, you know, you may have to set, you don't know which direction to go in. Then you may have other people coming at you or other situations coming at you, and it's really fogging your decision making. You, you know, you, you're like, I, I, wait a minute, I need my time alone. I need my time alone to think about this. You're feeling defensive. So you may have to set some boundaries here, whatever the situation is, and say, listen, I am not ready for this. I'm not ready for this decision. Oh, boy, you're trying to, oh, tr oh, well, that's nice. Underneath here, the strength card, Leo. You have what it takes, Gemini, to work through this. You have what it takes. You have the strength and the courage to get through this. If you're feeling a little wonky right now and unsure of yourself, you have to set some boundaries. Okay, I'm getting a little dizzy from this one. I'm not going to lie here. And you have the sun card. And look, there's the nine of cups. You will find your happiness. That emotional fulfillment, you want to be on your own. The Nine of Cups is very much independent. And, and it's, you feel like when you're on your own, then you can fill your own cup. So, I don't know if you're feeling pressured about something. Jeez, my, my deck's very light. Six of Cups, last one here, Spirit. What is it that Gemini, what about the past? What card can you give Gemini about their past? That is prominent here, really. Ten of, ten of Swords and Three of Pentacles. You're missing something from your past. Someone or something from your past. You're thinking about somebody. And this is the good thing about the Tens in the deck, especially like you know, for the Ten of Swords. The Tens are at the end of the... And you start over again. So after that, what you have over here is the Ace of Swords. You need, in order to stop hurting and stop missing someone, you need to find your truth. Need to find your truth, figure out the answers here, and how to move forward. You have to find your truth. And with that, when, you, when you, you're missing somebody or something is really hurting you right now, and once you figure out what it is you truly want, then you can master yourself in the situation. And on the bottom of the deck here, and this is what you this is wish fulfillment, this is what you really want. You're involved in something or so, with someone it's not really what you want. You're thinking about somebody else or something else. And this is Aquarius car, just in case. Uh, this is Star, Wish Fulfillment. You're wishing for something else. On the bottom of that, Page of Cups. You want to offer your cup to somebody. You want to offer your cup to somebody. Ooh, somebody's making dinner. I can smell it. All right, we're going to get a Moonology card for you here, Geminis. Um, this is not cut and dry here and clear cut. But... Um, there's some work that needs to be done. You need to spend some time alone to figure out which way you want to go here. You know, these are not to tell you what to do nor predict what will happen. It's all about free will. So it's up to you, Gemini, to sit and think about what you really want. Not too long. Don't stay up in your head too long. But you're really going to have to pay attention to what's in your heart because that's what's going to give you the answer, I think, is what's really in your heart and your gut. You're very close to achieving your goal, whatever it is you want. So when I'm here in July 2020, moving forward, at that point, um, figure out where you're at in your life, and you're, you're close to getting what you want. Um, we're going to get a Wisdom of the Hidden Realms card here. Let me just peek at this very quickly. What is this? The Gibbous Moon. Uh, I'm not going to read from the book, but there's some key words, and I'll see if I can find something in here that might... If I can find it. These books are these these cards are great, but they're not numbered and they're not in alphabetical order. They're in categories, so they're different type oh here it is, gibbous moon. Um different um you know, full moon, new moons, but they're hard to find sometimes. Alright. So you're very close to achieving your goal. The key phrase is I know that I'm on the right track. So you gotta keep that in mind. Additional meetings can be, now is a good time to review your plans. Keep the momentum going as you move towards your dreams. That's the, wherever it went, the Knight of Pentacles. Is keep moving forward slowly as you move towards your dreams. Stay focused. It's a good time to start a new project or something new. You need to get back into good health habits. And I want to say mentally healthy too. Um, the Gibbous Moon comes at the very end of the lunar cycle just before the full moon. We're going to a new moon on the 20th. But when um, when these come out, it's probably going to be past the new moon. So I'm recording this right before that 
ahead. Oh, I guess. I don't know. I mean, well, I don't know when they'll be. They'll come out before July, but maybe. This one may be after the uh, 20th. Probably. Most likely. Um, all right. Let me just get you a. I don't know if I shuffled these. Yikes. <laughs> oh, Gemini's. Okay, let me see. Let me see what we have. These are called Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. Let's see what we can... What, what advice do you have for our Gemini's? Please, Spirit. Again, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, Mars, and Saturn. You are ruled by Mercury, so uh, I know you're great communicators. So you may have to think about what you want to say or, or how you want to say it. And then, you know... Uh, but the Queen of Swords, though, you have that twice. There's something here that you just need to just cut out. Don't think about it. Don't worry about what may happen. The repercussions are just going to have to do it. You know? It's like ripping off that band-aid. Well, interestingly enough, you have... What? You always... Tim and I... I've said this in others. Your specific sign always gets two or more cards. This time you got three. Okay? Just going to say that I just did the Taurus card. They got the Phoenix card, too. So if you're dealing with the Taurus... You know, just saying... Um, it's almost because you have, you're the twins. You always get two, it's two more cards. Two more cards. You got the phoenix. Resurrection and surrender to change. You know, you may be a little resilient or resistant to change here. That's the leap of faith. You're going to have to take a leap of faith and surrender to the, excuse me, the change that is coming in your life, especially for July 2020 and moving forward. You also got card number 12. Now that's nine, that's 11. 29 is card number 11. You may be dealing with a twin flame situation but it does not have to be i'm just pointing that out just in case um the the eagle king is card number 12 that card's significant to me and my twin flame so it's kind of triggering me here but the eagle king is the big picture and angelic help you need to look at the big picture here not just what's going on right now but moving forward what is going to to make you happy moving forward you know you may be unhappy with the situation, what's going on right now, but you really have to think if you stay in this situation, if you don't cut something out, you're going to keep moving through this, this, it's like, it's like uh, quicksand or mud and you just, I mean, thick mud, you just can't keep, you feel like you're not moving, you're stuck. The keeper of the scales, fairness and balance. I almost hear that is the Libra card. That is card, oh my God. That's card number 38. So 29, what does that add to? 11. 38, 8, 11. 11, 11. That's the number of twin flames. That's the synchronicity. This is, a, this is I think, is a karmic situation, a karmic lesson for you, Gemini. Oh, my God. Okay. Because my twin is a Gemini. 12 is a significant number uh, for personal reasons. And so it's just interesting. Is a Gemini reading 11, 11, 12? Woo! This is really tripping me out here. Let me get to you, though. We're going to do... The Eagle King, card number, no, which one did we get first? No, the Phoenix. So, we'll read the Phoenix first, card number 29. Resurrection, surrender to change. The Phoenix appears as your ally to celebrate your journey and to assure your ultimate success. This is true, even if it appears that you've just passed through a metaphorical experience of death or currently enduring a perception of failure in your life. Death and rebirth are related when you enter the realm of the Phoenix which you got the death card and the rebirth card, which so did Taurus. So I'm just saying. Uh, seen in this light, nothing truly dies, but rather changes from one ending directly into new beginnings. The phoenix is constantly reinventing itself and rises up whole and new and even more powerful with every death it experiences. This could signal, I just heard something, this could signal an end of relationship the end of a relationship or a dynamic within one or an end of a job, a project, or even a life. Perhaps no failure is involved, but it's time for a complete overhaul of your circumstances. You may be tired of what you're doing or you may know intuitively that it's time to move on and try something new. Whatever the case, a death of the old and a celebration of life, of new life, are called for. Whatever you do now will indeed be a successful endeavor for a rebirth is imminent. That is the death and rebirth card down here. Right here. There's the death card. It's time for something to end so you can have a rebirth in your life, Gemini. Alright. And what I was going to say very briefly, which struck a chord with me, with you, with this particular card, and then we'll get to this one. Um, 
it's time to reinvent yourself. The Phoenix is constantly reinventing itself and rising, rises up whole and new and even more powerful. It's time to reinvent yourself and rise up in a new way. Okay, let me get to... Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't want this to be too long. I don't want to run out of space on my phone. Okay, the Eagle King. The Eagle King is a sign that your highest destiny is within reach. You're on the right path now, even if you can't see where you're going. The Eagle King soars high above the mountains and valleys of life and is able to see the big picture when you seem to be lost in a bit of a fog. He makes a formidable ally as he takes your prayers up towards the sun and releases them to the divine. They will be answered for the highest good of all. It's a fortunate omen when the Eagle King decides to be your ally. Oh, Gemini's. And then we're going to do number 38, which is the Keeper of the Scales. Very quickly. If this does resonate for you, and I hope it helps you in some way if it does resonate, do smash that like button. Do consider subscribing and joining the tribe, and do comment. I would love to hear from you. Oh, and very quickly, if you're into daily reads, would you like me to do daily general energy read type things in the morning? Like maybe a 15 to 20 minute reading per morning, just very briefly, just to kind of start your day and maybe give you some guidance um, in general. Okay? Just let me know in the comments if you're interested in that. Um, so we have the Keeper of the Scales, which is about fairness and balance. The law of harmony is enacted when the keeper of the scales comes to you as an ally. <clears throat> Align with her as the law states, making conscious choices that create balance in your life. When you do, you also magically align with the abundance of the universe and the powerful forces of synchronicity. Also, twin flamey. This creates conditions and possibilities that lead to the fulfillment of, the, of your highest intentions. Harmony begins with the self and then resonates outward to others. You're in harmony with yourself when you nurture yourself with love, respect, and acceptance. Always fully taking responsibility for your actions. Queen of Pentacles. Only then can you be in harmony with others. This is because love is the central force that connects all of life and aligns you with like-minded others. Another message is restoration and the positive fair resolution in all disputes. Wait, another message is restoration. And the positive fair resolution in all disputes, including those involving the legal system or other important exchanges. The keeper of the scales is just and a kind ally, always making sure balance is activated on your path. I just keep hearing now because of the phoenix, you're rising up and you're going to be reborn. Something ends, you're rising up or rebirth. Gemini, this is what I have for you. I'm sorry, I don't want this to go too long because my phone only has so much space. Um, I mean, we're done with the reading, but I don't want to yammer on. I can kind of go on and on sometimes to recap readings. There's a lot going on here, and you have, you have some decision to make, something to cut out of your life. Something has to be cut out of your life. And I think if you, really, if you don't know, you think about it. Really think about it. What is cre creating imbalance in your life? And you're going to have to reassess that and cut something out to... to um, something's weighing one side of you down. You know, the scales are not balanced. And once you take that one thing out, it's going to go whoop, and everything's going to go into alignment, and then you can move forward. You're going to be stuck if you're not. Okay? Surrender to change. Look at the big picture, because, and if you need to even speak to the heavens or whomever you believe in to ask for help, do that. Spirit can give you signs. But the keeper of the scales, you need some balance here. All right, Gemini, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you all so much for subscribing. If you aren't subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing, joining the tribe, because there's, at this point, we're moving forward to almost, you know, going towards 1,000 subscribers. There's a lot, lot more that's going to be happening once that 1,000 subscribers, I hit that. I'm going to be ecstatic, and I'm going to start planning, planning, planning now, so when the time hits... I have it all ready to go, okay? And um, so, you know, don't miss any readings, you know, or, or live streams, because the live streams are going to come. Come follow me on Instagram and Facebook, particularly Instagram. That's where I'm going to do my, first do my live streams, and then go over to Facebook if I don't have enough room on there. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. I love, love, love you all from the bottom of my heart. Love you, Geminis. Um, stay safe, stay positive, stay strong, and stay happy. All right? Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you. Peace out.